Hi, welcome to Schooler, your online school. This video is going to cover the following topics. Don't forget to check your understanding by solving the individual questions and good luck. Chemical reaction. It's a process by which new substances are formed. An example, hydrogen gas when it reacts with oxygen gas to produce water. Hydrogen gas and oxygen gas are called reactants, while water it's the products. As we can see, water it's a totally new substance with a new properties. So whenever we have a new substance is formed, this is a chemical change. There are some evidences that a chemical reaction has occurred, like the release or absorption of energy or the formation of a new substance. The energy released or absorbed can be sound or light or heat or electrical or any other form of energy. Formation of a new substance can be detected by the color or the odor. Always keep in mind that a chemical reaction should produce a new substance. In case of boiling water, there is a gas produced. This gas is water vapor and it's not a new substance since we can return it back to water. Also, mixing of colors. Maybe you are going to get a new color, but this is not a new substance. A new substance should have new properties like color, density, melting point and boiling point and all the other physical properties. So these changes are physical changes. If I want to write a chemical equation for the reaction that I started with between hydrogen gas and oxygen gas to produce water, it's going to be like this. And this is called word equation since I'm using words. But if I want to use formulas like this, hydrogen, its formula is H2 gas and oxygen. Its formula is O2 gas, and the reaction produces water liquid. And this is called formula equation, since I'm using formulas. And now let's describe some notations that can be used in formula equations. Like in this chemical formula equation, S means solid, L means liquid, AQ means aqueous which is dissolved in water and G means gas so here sodium is in solid state water is in liquid state sodium hydroxide is aqueous which means dissolved in water and hydrogen is gas Sometimes in a chemical formula equation, we can see a substance written above the arrow, like this one. Here, potassium permanganate, it's a catalyst, which means it's a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without interfering in that reaction. Or, sometimes we can see a symbol like this above the arrow, which means that the reactants are heated for the reaction to proceed. And now you are ready to solve the end of video questions. Please, if you are not, repeat the video again. Otherwise, solve the questions. Put your answer in the comments section. If you have any question that I didn't cover in the video, please share it with me in the comments section. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos. See you in other videos and good luck.